अच्छा ठीक ओके वेरी गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ मनीष अरोड़ा फैकल्टी मेंबर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ अप्लाइड आर्ट फैकल्टी ऑफ विजुअल आर्ट बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी आई एम वेलकमिंग यू ऑल फॉर दिस सेशन दिस इज फंडामेंटल ऑफ सोशल डिजाइन पार्ट टाइम थ्री मंथ सर्टिफिकेट कोर्स इन एसोसिएशन विद मैरीलैंड इंस्टीट्यूट कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट बाल्टीमोर माइका एंड मिसिगन स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी मिसिगन यूएसए टूडे विथ अस मिस्टर विक्रम पाल फैकल्टी मेंबर एट सिस्टी मणिपाल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ डिजाइन एट बैंगलोर इज हियर एंड ही इज टूडे टूडे ही इज डिलीवरिंग लेक्चर अबाउट द कंटेम्प्रेरी डिजाइन सिनारियो इन इंडिया एंड डिफरेंट केस स्टडीज फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग पीरियड ऑफ डिजाइन सिनारियो now i am uh, welcoming uh, mr vikram and requesting him to please start your session thank you thank you sir thank you for inviting me and uh, very good evening so hope you all are doing well so today uh our today topic is basically not that at such technical it's basically uh, informative and fact oriented so i'm just going to share some images and what what all of you have to do you have to just sit relax and just go through with the uh, images and i'm going to describe about the history about the artwork so let's begin so first of all let me share my screen uh, just a second it's visible is it visible i think this my screen is visible right so my screen is visible right yeah okay fine great great yes right now it is visible okay fine thank you thank you thank you so um, today uh i'll be talking about an um, overview of enduring indian legacy of design graphic art so it would be an overview of the vast legacy of graphic design starting from the cave art and culminating on the recent work done in the recent years so from the caves of while well, vimbetka to the miniatures of mughal uh, the rajputana art at the time and now the most recent identities of for various brands so uh if i go to the next slide yes so here uh william addison wiggins the first used the term graphic design so in 1922 to describe his process of designing books as combination of type setting illustration and design wiggins uh, was a director of harvard university press and founder of uh, society of calligraphers in boston so he was born in 1880 at the exact time of while well, invention of linotype machine so graphic design of the graphic art uh, or profession is a combination while well, it, it, it's a com profession of combining text and pictures in art um, advertisement publication or website so the aim of graphic is to brand inform and have a specific effect on its audience so uh we will begin with the wall painting so from early uh cave art to today's graffiti so in in today's context wall paintings serve different purposes not only do they bring art into a public space but the artist also receive more recognition right so while well, one can find artwork around different part of the city well they are also used effectively for the social cause uh, as well as political message and advertising also so graffiti a kind of while well, wall painting has well often been created against the conventional rule however now due to the particular style and popularity they are commissioned by restaurants uh, corporate offices and other other organizations so yes so from all the various styles and methods of creating wall painting mural the best known technique is the fresco so 
which combine a lime wash and uh, natural water soluble colors. Uh, Ajanta Elora caves came from the Kamur range, some part of the Uttar Pradesh and the rock shelter of Bimbetka in the Madhya Pradesh. So here uh, you can see that while, while Bimbetka cave, Rockat cave number four. So it's the, uh, are the earliest evidences of wall paintings in India. So hundreds of graphic design of animals were made by primitive people in the Alaska cave, which is in France about 14,000 BC. The art of primitive hunters is also found in this, well, Bimbetka in India, drawn earlier than 7,000 BC. So the Bimbetka size has the oldest rock art in India, as well as one of the largest prehistoric complexes. So the cave painting uh, show themes such as animals, early evidences of dance and hunting. If I well go to the next slide, the Buddhist cave in Ajanta. Well, uh, approximately uh, 30 rock cut Buddhist cave monuments dating from 2nd century BC to about 480 CE in uh, Aurangabad, the district of Maharashtra state in India. The cave include paintings and rock cut sculptures described as among the finest surviving examples of ancient Indian art, particularly expressive painting that present emotions through uh, gesture, pose, and form. So while well, here you can see one of the four frescoes from the Mahajanaka Jataka tales, the king announces his abdications to become an ascetic, right? So yeah. Now uh, we will discuss about uh, under the um, category of uh, community and social well, art painting. Uh, yeah, Sarai and Thoba painting. It's it's is a mural art traditionally practiced by women in the Hajari Bagh district of Jharkhand. Traditionally uh, used to decorate the heart walls. Now it is done on paper and cloth so that it may be sold to. Uh, patrons. Uh, Sohrai art is done at Sohrai or harvest festivals. Uh, it is done in color, uh, and but Koba painting are done in wedding in black and white. So it's it's mostly done in black and white. Uh, Sohrai is a harvest festival of Indian state of Bihar, Jharkhand, uh, most of the part of well, Chhattisgarh, along with Orissa and West Bengal. It is called Cattle Festival, uh, well, uh, and it is celebrated our harvest and coincide with the festival of Diwali. So it is celebrated on Amavasya of the Hindu month Karthik in the month of uh, October, November. And um, in this festival, people fast, paint house, prepare food. And uh, yeah, this is, this is uh, cover wall painting was traditionally uh, well done for decorating the marriage chamber of the bride and groom. And it is usually depicts the animal and plants of neighboring forests and valleys. So the name cover uh, derived from the two word, Ko, Ko means cave and Ver means husband. So symbolizing fertility, the uh, 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 mural making take place each spring during the marriage seasons so yeah this is this is a wonderful example of well kind of traditional wall art if i go next yeah this is kerala uh, a mural painting uh, basically frescoes that mostly show mythology well and legends drawn on the wall of temple and churches in south india mostly in Kerala. Uh, most of the ancient churches, temple, and places in Kerala uh, will display the traditional of well, uh, mural painting, which uh, dates back to around 9th to 12th century. So this is uh, one of the well interesting example of Kerala mural painting. Uh, if I go next, yeah, this is this is I know that this is very popular. Well, uh, Mithila painting, 
Uh, it is a style of Indian painting practiced mostly in the Mithila region of the Indian subcontinent. Um, the painting is done with a variety of tools, including fingers, twigs, brushes, nip pens, and matchsticks. And also they use natural dyes and pigments. So it is while uh, characterized by its eye-catching geometrical patterns. So there are, while ritual content for the particular occasions, basically when they used to mingle, such as the well, birth or marriage uh, festival, such as Holi or kind of well, Diwali, Panana or the Durga Puja. So Madhubani painting uh, was traditionally created by the women of various well, communities in the Mithila region. And uh, the painting were traditionally done on the freshly plastered mud walls and floors of huts. But now they are also done on cloth, as I well told you before that. Basically, now it's being practiced on clothes, handmade paper, and the canvas. And Madhubani painting are made from paste of powdered rice. Madhubani painting has remained while confirmed in a while compact geometrical uh, while uh, patterns, as well as it also uh, while de developed the geographical area and skills have been passed on through centuries. So the content and the style have largely remained the same. And the colors used derived from plants, ochre, lamp black, and red are used for the reddish brown and black. So. Mm, uh, now the beautiful makeover uh, here on the next slide. Yeah, the traditional, well, you can see the traditional Madhubadi art, uh, well, from of Bihar, which was recently used by Indian Railway to beauty the coaches, well, to, well, to beautify the coaches of its train. Uh, also, it's on the appreciation of people across the country. Yeah, this is one of the well interesting well application of the traditional well art in uh, railway coaches. So, yeah, next slide is about worldly or worldly. Uh, it's it's are an indigenous tribe, Adivasi of Western Indian well uh, kind of we call uh, tribal wall painting, living in mountains as well as coastal area along with Maharashtra, uh, Gujarat border and surrounding areas. So they have their own, well, animistic belief, life, customs and tradition. As a result of, well, acculturations, they have adopted many Hindu, Hindu beliefs. So the worldly speak the unwritten worldly language which belong to southern zone of the Indo-Aryan languages. So yeah, this is one example well, of worldly art. So uh, if I tell you the uh, well, story behind these form of art, they, they're extremely well rudimentary wall painting, use a very well kind of basic graphic vocabulary, uh, a circle, a triangle, and a square. They're painting well, basically were monosyllabic. The circle and the triangle uh, come from their observation of nature, uh, a kind of circle represent uh, moon or sun. The triangle derived from the mountains or pointed uh, trees, uh, but only the square seems to be, well, to obey a different logic and seems to be a human invention, uh, including a sacred enclosure or a piece of land. So the central uh, motif in each ritual painting in the square known as chalk or chokat, mostly of two types, dev chalk and lagna chalk. Inside a dev chalk, we found Palagatha, the mother goddess. So it's who symbolize fertility. So significantly male god are unusual among the worldly and are frequently related to the spirits which have taken human shape. The central motif in this uh, ritual painting is surrounded by scenes portray uh, hunting, fishing, farming, while festivals and dances, trees, animals. Human and animal bodies are represented by two triangles, 
joined at the tip and the upper triangle depicts the trunk and the lower triangle the pelvis. So their particular equilibrium symbolize the balance of the universe and uh, of the couple and has a particular and amusing advantage of animating the bodies. So with the two uh, triangle, they easily create different, well, human figures in, in different pose and postures. So if I go to the next slide, yes. This is, uh, well, decorative wall painting. Uh, this is, well, corporate office. It's a, a Mudra House office building in Bombay, in Mumbai. And Mudra House, it's it's renowned advertising agency. So uh, this Mudra complex, the lobby of the building, illustrate a, a description of life in contemporary times using traditional worldly art. And here uh, you can see that the style of art can be seen on each floor of the complex. If I go to the next slide, yes, in different form, right? And, and the worldly art on each floor give a feel of the ambience within that particular space. So the workspace is depicted by, well, simple triangle and dots figure that vividly will capture day-to-day -day workstation activities. So the art infuses the spirit of community throughout the building. Yeah. So now uh, if you talk about traditional murals, so in India, they were well created by the people on the wall inside and outside their homes, uh, identifying their tribes religious belief and so on. So today uh, people can be found while commissioning such murals to express their maybe uh, personal choice and individuality. So this features has uh, increased commission work or amongst not only uh, in India, but, but across the world. So incorporating certain messages uh, and elements according to the theme uh, Hand-painted murals serve different purposes for uh, in, in hospitals, in corporate offices, as well as schools, colleges, universities. So uh, this is a decorative wall painting. It's, it's come under traditional Rajputana art. So uh, uh, there are well, a plethora of Rajputana painting in which a common theme is found throughout. Uh, Rajputana artwork is great manipulation of space. So the insertion of full space is meant to emphasize the lack of boundaries and inseparability of character and landscape. So in this way, the individuality of physical character is uh, almost rejected. So allowing both the portrait, uh, background and human figures to be equally vivid. So in ancient time, uh, Maber ruler wanted painting and wall mural to portray their well, kind of determination, establishing their heritage well, uh, through, through this kind of wall painting. So hence, painting were often indicative of a king's, uh, you can say, king's legacy or, or the chance made to better the society. So yeah, so as, as a mark of uh, beautification, whether during festivals or marriage ceremonies or simply otherwise, uh, these paintings are done on the outside wall of houses and buildings. They display a uh, colorful and elaborate portrait of men, um, women, elephant, horse, riders, and ditties. So there is no any specific subject. Uh, they mostly focus on the kind of, well, decorative, very kind of full of ornamentation. And both recent and historical painting can be seen on the wall of the city. Whitewashed house will make canvases for local and foreign artists who draw cows and elephants or princely men and women with beautiful clothes or something totally different, like some graffiti or abstract art. So most often the traditional painting adorn the entrances of houses. So they believe to create a harmonious ambience huh? to seek out the evil. So here you can see that, yes, it's, it's a well, religious and uh, while painting depicting marriage ceremony, 
So they believe to create a harmonious ambience and also to seek spiritual guidance and cut off people. So yes, uh, if I show you some other images here, you can see that uh, Wallat public toilets in India to depict a male and female kind of signage through graphics. Uh, this is modern uh, street art and graffiti. Uh, if I go to the next slide, yes, this is a kind of experimentation with uh, hmm, letters and it's mostly done with uh, mass spray paints. So this is well from the kind of traditional way of treating the wall and this is the modern version of the graffiti we call well experimentation and playing with the types and font. Uh, yeah, here this is wall advertisement. You can see the advertisement here. Uh, if I go next, this is another example of wall advertisement where generally, well, uh, big font, uh, big letterings, uh, all are hand-drawn and sometimes they also use images, visual graphics, uh, well, to, to depict the information regarding any specific, well, kind of uh, any product, any brand. So, this is the next one. Here you can see, well, the name of the uh, shop is written in very bold and big type. And the rest, we can say the body copy, it's written with sleek and kind of, well, well tilted font along with graphics related with the subject. So yeah, these are the few interesting examples of uh, today's contemporary wall advertisement. Uh, yeah. So now if I go to the next uh, topic, uh, how uh, Jamini Raw influenced by the Kalighat painting or Kalighat Pata Chitra. So uh, Kalighat painting refer uh, to the class of paintings and drawings on handmade or more usually on machine made paper produced by a group of artists called Patua. Machine made paper means they used to get a specific paper from a mill, uh, paper mill, and th the papers are available in a specific size. So uh, it's, it's produced by a group of artists called Potuas in the neighborhood of the famous Kali temple at Kalighat, which is in Kolkata between 19th and early 20th century. So uh, C. Mackay remarked that the Kalighat school of painting in India that is truly modern as well as popular. So with their bold simplification, strong lines, vibrant colors, and visual rhythm, this pin painting have a well, surprising affinity to modern art. So uh, by the early, um, the Kalighat temple was a popular destination for the local people, pilgrims, uh, as well as certain foreign visitors as well. So with the rise of popularity and theme of the goddess Kali, uh, uh, while many of the artisans and craftsmen uh, flocked to the Kalighat area to capitalize the new market by selling cheap religious souvenir to the visitors. Uh, actually, before they used to prepare a doll made with clays and afterwards, well, when the, well, Pilgrims, they used to take it while well, carry the doll and while well, traveling, well, uh, the, it, as it's made with clay, so uh, it's it's not possible to well take the entire or the big uh, kind of idol. So then the potuas or the uh, craftsmen, the artisans, they try to turn that wooden dolls into pictures in, 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 in paper format. So uh, actually they well, sell this cheap religious souvenir to the visitors. And soon after a number of skilled artists moved to Kolkata uh, from the ruler Bengal, especially from different districts like 24 Paganas, Mednapur's, because the Potuas, the traditional folk artists, they used to stay and they have 
well, community, they have their own community there and they start well coming to Kalighat and, and start building, well, setting up stalls outside the temple. So uh, if, if I talk about the stylization or the, well, the, the painting technique, they use watercolors, um, which is still, well, is not something new. While well, claims historian B.N. Mukherjee, he says that Kalighat painters has always made their own colors. So, and they use water. So water was used to dilute the indigenously made paint. And Kalighat painting uh, have a sense of vibrancy and opaqueness, unlike the transluency of a British natural history painting, or we call company painting, uh, which were made by the Indian artist commissioned by um, British East India, um, India Company using European techniques. So painted mostly, the Kaligat painting, uh, well, painted mostly on mill-made paper with fluid brushwork and uh, vibrant natural dyes. Uh, well, Kaligat paintings are believed to be originated while well, in the vicinity of Kolkata's iconic, as I said, that Kaligat, so the subject, the painting, uh, well, basically, which depicted mythological uh, characters like Hindu deities, while well, mythological characters, other tribal life, the theme from everyday life, uh, Jamindars, while well, Babu culture, also while well, depicted through this kind of while well, painting. So were originally sold and souvenir to the temple visitors. So uh, uh, if I go to the next slide, uh, okay, before that, one of the most significant, uh, while well, modernist of 20th century, while well, uh, in Indian fine art, Jamini Roy is known for his dazzling uh, portrayal of Indian folk culture and rural ethos, such as beauty of Roy's work that he's brought him both national and international recognition. So with his painting being compared with uh, those of famed French artist Henri Matisse. So by 1925, he had become, well, fascinated by Kalighat style of painting and the unique feature of its figures, that is the big almond-shaped eyes, uh, round faces, uh, curvaceous body and firm contours. So here you can see that very bold contour line with black. So as for his technique, Roy used bold uh, sweeping brush strokes while painting, <laughs> sorry, and restricted his palette to seven vibrant colors. So uh, very much well conscious about the, his color palette. So all are earthly colors. So Indian red, uh, second, uh, while well, yellow walker, cadmium green, vermilion gray, uh, blue and white. So. These are the seven colors, and his styles also had many of the same features as Kaligat paintings, but he added his signature characteristic, characteristics to in his original, well, in his own uh, kind of art form. So, uh, yeah, this is, if I go to the next slide, here you can see the transmission of all the transfer of Jamini Roy's painting in today's product. Uh, mug, coffee mug, you can see the Jamini Rai painting style in today's well, well kind of contemporary uh, graphic design. Yes. So now mm, let's talk about film poster. So uh, film uh, is not only uh, mere collage of images uh, or piece of information or any colorful design. Uh, once the mainstream of uh, publicity tools, the film poster uh, have been playing a significant role along with the other outdoor publicity tools like uh, holding uh, cutouts, stickers, banners, etc. So in 1896, the first day of screening film in India. So the use of film poster for the first instance for the publicity of numerous film in Bombay uh, to till today. So 
Film poster have been the uh, reflection of changing time, technology, techniques, and um, array of ideas, and we can say design of different decades, right? So starting from Raza Harishchandra, the first Indian film, to today, uh, the poster of Bollywood film have come to a long way from uh, broad, visible um, brush strokes with striking array of colors, uh, as well as the typography to modern day digital prints uh, on glossy sheets. So now we use kind of different softwares, digital softwares, to uh, well, design film poster. And also uh, kind of, well, from serving the prime medium of publicity to subject of study for art lovers, historians, and antique collectors, in the present day, the Bollywood silhouette poster have been a fascinating journey over more than a century. So in vast, well, country like India, here, where there exist inherent, well, kind of linguistic, religious, and regional differences. So the Bollywood industry plays a, we can say, a northworthy role to unite the people of the country. So <clears throat> we can see the uh, this kind of, well, um, role, well, not only the role to unite the people through the different film posters. So the skillfully designed Bollywood film poster uh, as a tool of key film publicity tool in the past and as a part of one of the, well, one of the uh, outdoor publicity tool at the present. It plays a, well, a pivotal role to, well, bridge, uh, well, communication, culture, language, career across the people of different, well, religion of the country. So if I, if I uh, say that, uh, hmm, about the film. So film poster normally uh, contain images of the main actor or a scene or a collage of several scenes of the film with text. So um, the textual information on film poster usually contain the title of the film. Here you can see the title of the film uh, in large lettering. It should be a kind of bigger and the name of the main actors, directors, sometimes we also write uh, the producer's name, music directors, storytellers, etc., with obviously the date of release. So here in this uh, film, while well, Kalyan Khajina, while well, directed by Babu Rao, Krishna Rao Mystery, popularly known as the Babu Rao Painter, was one of the masterpieces of the early Indian film. So in poster of uh, Kalyan Kajina, well, uh, designed by painter himself. So, uh, depicted the, well, heroic and notable side of Sivaji. So, away from the poster here, in, in this is, release date is 1924. So, poster of 1920s, the poster uh, of painter, well, mostly artistic and, well, message conveying during uh, those, well, during the decade, Baburao painter in his Maharashtra film, uh, at well, Kolhapur made immense contribution to the growth of film, and they generally use uh, handmade and immense contribution to the growth of uh, well, kind of um, canvas painting along with the hand drawn uh, color, wild color, and as well as the design source. Uh, they generally used to uh, publish this poster in in. Um, paper and they used to print it in the cheap paper uh, so that, uh, well, they can produce in mass quantity. So if I go to the next slide. Do Bigha Jameen, yeah. This is released 1953, a realist drama about a small land owner. So the film was directed by Bimal Roy, who was the, well, with precursor of the neo realism influenced by Vittorio De Sica bicycles thieves. Well, he expressed his creative insect and influence of neo realism in his movie Do Viga Jameen in the brilliant manner. The poster of the film were found in three languages. Well, well, here you can see in Urdu, in Hindi, as well as in English. So 
um, all the posters of the film film leaves especially the innocent smiles of the member of family farmer family looking at the cloud and hoping for rain to get good harvesting so smiling you can see balrahat sahani wearing a typical farmer's head we can say while well, wearing a gamcha in the role of a farmer sambhu mahato and nirupa roy as wife parvati with the sun and well crops uh, some somewhat leaves an impression of being influenced by the leftist movement uh, of the decade so the reason behind using three different formats uh, hindi english as well as in some of the posters uh, they used bilingual hindi english both along with urdu uh, in the posters was probably to draw the attention of the intellectual middle class and semi literate classes of the society so uh, as as the theme of the poster was based on the struggling life of a farmer so therefore all the posters well minimum shade of bright colors were used so here you can see that the background dull uh, kind of uh, yellowish tone uh being used the iconic scene of the film radha well it's 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 a well kind of while the background is full of black and hovering over the head of balraj sahani the protagonist of the film it's it's convey the theme of struggling life of the farmer so at the top of the well in in form of clouds it's it's uh while well, depicted that uh it's it's a kind of struggling life depicting the struggling life of the farmer so the next poster yes very popular and very famous film mother india so while well, released in 1957 and uh, here the poster of mother india well reflects the hardship of a woman while plowing land or driving a bullock cart so which is made with extensive brush strokes so the use of here the uh, the artist used red and orange color to enhance well radha's facial expression reflecting the struggling life of radha which is well strongly attention grabbing here so the poster emphasized the central theme of the film hardship which well intensified emotion and passion of the storyline of the film and also uh, like the previous poster do bigha zameen uh, three different formats of language hindi english bilingual uh, hindi english as well as urdu were used for mother india 2 um, maybe uh, well deliberately uh, done to target all sections of the society the design of the poster reflect the great artistic senses of the designer and and we can say that ability to convey the theme of the film in a meaningful way um and you can see that the vibrant color that that purple tone uh the main characters costume color and merging with the background where the artist use yellow reddish tone along with uh green tone so yeah well it's it's a fabulous well kind of uh, well projection by the artist uh i go to the next one yeah bobby yeah year of release it's 1973 uh, director of the film raj kapoor so the story of raj kapoor's film bobby was focused on youth culture so the film described the newly born fashion liberal uh, culture and uh, what to say the increased uh, sexual freedom of the west in the indian cosmopolitan lifestyle so the poster of the film epitomized the youth culture of and fashion trend of the west in glamorized manner so 
the film was targeted to the actually young energetic fashion conscious educated while movie goers of the city so therefore poster were mainly found in english so no hindi or other languages uh, while well, urdu uh, it's not being used for the title so beside the popular poster of young dimple kabadia in semi nude dress with rishi kapoor one of the posters of bobby rendered in the style of american while well, psychedelic posters of 1960s uh, while well, and the characters of while well, swirling bands of bright color set against the black background and here you can see the rounded bubble lettering and fluid floral forms while well, at the background and the reason behind designing western while well, this kind of poster for bobby could be a symbolize of prevailing youth culture of 1960s the um, uh, the po the poster basically represent the new liberalism that manifested itself through the growth of folk protest music uh, while well, radical student activism or the civil right or anti vietnam movement uh, hippie fashions so yeah so different poster um, of the bobby could reflect the theme of the well uh, film effectively so uh, the poster of the film especially depicting uh, well well dimple semi nude it's 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 influenced by the american well poster style um, and and also many features of the 1970s fashion well radical activism or, or i can say liberal culture or the sexual freedom so design of the posters were far superior than well some of the other contemporary films so this is well quite we can differentiate from the other film poster um the color design use of the different calligraphy and well you can see the vibrant colors well obviously draw the attention of the uh, film goers easily so yeah uh, if i go to the next uh poster this is this is the rockstar this is uh, the year of release in uh, well recent year that is 2011 uh this is completely uh computer graphics done with kind of experimentation with the letters uh with effects as well as the image the the visuals treated with well all kind of graphical treatment done with different colors schemes as well as also the title is very much important and well typographical experimentation being done here so this is a well kind of uh, example of modern uh, film poster if we compare to the early well 40s 60s or 80s poster so yes so if i go to the next slide so graphic on automobile so horn please blow horn or india is great use dipper at night wait for sai these are the some of the many messages we found painted on the well rear end of the indian trucks or other word also include like a public carrier or national all india permit national permit like that so but if you pay attention to more than just to read you will be delighted to see that the brilliant art uh, on those magnificent trucks so the slogans the uh precautionary traffic messages allowing we, uh, with colorful paintings attractive calligraphy uh, beautiful sceneries pictures of god goddesses the bollywood stars name of the children family members so truck while well, exterior says a lot about their while well, drivers who spend several months on the road so uh, and the vehicle is more like home right for them so they want to decorate while well, uh, from religious belief to while well, humorous punch lines so truck are turned into a magnificent canvases and artist use them for for to the fullest well they they try to depict everything which whatever in their mind while well, they want to showcase on their truck and also those uh, while well, kind of while well, graphics visuals along with typos while well, used in modern today's products 
these are the few examples where the same truck art or kind of types, the graphics used in uh, coasters, uh, in notebooks. So uh, this is the well kind of well traditional truck art, truck paint, and how well now the well modern artists well they generally try to come up with a kind of well transmission of those painting in in today's product so in this way uh, this truck have their well identity well painted onto there as well as they well travel all around the country right so the taxes the trucks have a lot of typographical elements well a kind of experimentation with types along with a uh, kind of experimentation with visuals so the mostly, well, the artists mostly use hand painted, but now, uh, while uh, type font makers, the type designers, they come up with digital font, most related with this handmade. They have that, while well, kind of, uh, well, influence of that hand drawn effect in modern typography. So uh, maybe uh, next class we will discuss about the influence of. Uh, well, kind of truck card, modern, uh, into the modern typography along with the symbols and uh, the, the uh, influences of motives in modern design along with uh, kind of packaging from the older batch box as well as, well as a few uh, cigarette packets and how those designs, well, came into our modern version of, well, modern design. So, so for today, I'd like to end the session. And again, the next session, we will continue. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for listening. So are you there? Hello? So could you hear me? Hello, sir. Could you hear me? Hello. Hello, sir. Uh, good yes. evening. Very good evening. Yes. Sir, actually, uh, I have a question. One, matlab, it's just a question. Yeah, yeah. Please, like, please. Uh, sir, do uh, means uh, that, uh, sir, ye Kali Ghat painting aya, and then, uh, matlab, Bengal painting aya, Bengal school aya, and then usse ye sab aya. So, sir, uh, hum log, uh, ye sakte hain ki, ji, jitne bhi posters and ye designing or sir, aapne jo bhi bataya ki cinema ke jo posters and all, uh, sir, ye jo matlab, uh, I hai, to ye Bengal school and uh, Bengal artist ki, uh, matlab, uh, contribution raha hai, isme bohat hat tak, bohat zada matlab. Aisa nahi hai, aisa nahi hai, uh, Tanisha, right? Hanji, Hanji. Yes, yes. Tanisha. Actually, I, uh, I tried to depict the, the transformation of a particular kind of very traditional Indian art to today's contemporary modern art, right? So that's why I show you the example of Kaligat Potachitra or the Potuas painting, right? And then how Jamini Roy influenced with the Kaligat painting uh, or Unka... Uh, ap apne painting me kis prakar influence raha Kaligat painting ka. So that's the main well, kind of attention well, uh, which I want to give. Ki how the well, kind of contemporary art get influenced from the well, Indian traditional art form. So that's the main intention. So it's, it's not like that ki it's, it's uh, the mostly the Bengal school of art or the uh, well, the painters from the Kolkata, they have well, well depicted or kind of contributed in, in Indian art form only. But I, I just want to well convey that uh, while well, today the modern artist, the contemporary artist influenced by the traditional art form, whether it's, it's the cave art of the Vimbetka well, cave painting or from the uh, well, Patachitras or from uh, well, kind of uh, Rabindranath's uh, well, scribbles, and while the truck 
truck art, which is well traditional Indian art form, and how today's well, designers try to just get influenced with the existing art form of Indian tradition and how they try to come up with a kind of mingle of traditional art form with, with their own uh, well invention, innovation, right? Okay, sir. Sir, but uh, means at last, uh, like these traditional artists like uh, Jamini Roy and uh, most of the artists from Kaligat paintings also, I yeah. uh, mean, sir, why they gave up? Uh, like uh, with the time, uh, machine made things were machine made uh, uh, art came, machine art. And yes. Yes. So actually, Verma introduced uh, uh, Litho. Uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you see, sir. Go ahead, Tanisha. Yes. So you you also asked that why it's it's not disappeared. Actually, the thing is the Kaligat painting. The now jo jo potuas hain those who used to while kind of while experiment those kind of traditional um, uh, art form. अभी उन उनके जो next generation वो नहीं चाह रहे हैं कि उसको आगे बढ़ा के लेके जाएं so that's why Jamini Roy took that form and in his art form and he he well kind of uh, got many recognition from national as well as international recognition right so with his art form so he tried to carry that tradition that um, well kind of Kaligat painting tradition in his artwork so now also many contemporary artists like uh, Meghna Singh, uh, Atul Parikar, they, they generally took that Jamini Royce, well, kind of almond eyes, big eyes, along with bold contour line, big faces. They took that uh, painting style in their modern illustration. So they, they all are just trying to do illustration for the children's storybook, and they took that kind of, well, it, it's kind of vice versa, right? So from the Kaligar, Jamini Rai got influenced, and Today's modern contemporary artist got influenced from the Jamini Royce painting. So this is well kind of continuing the, the well chain, right? So this is the thing. Tanisha. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Yes, Good. yes. Good. Thank you, Tanisha, for asking the question. If anyone have a other question, then it's welcome. <laughs> anyone have it? The other questions? On uh, YouTube also still, uh, there is no question right now, but uh, lots of appreciations also can be come. And uh, thank you. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. So and next uh, class, I'll be covering the well, rest part of this topic that is design in contemporary India. Well, an overview of uh, well, Indian legacy. Well, yeah, in, yeah. in terms of graphic art. Uh, just one question came uh, from the side of YouTube, uh, Jayanti Bhattacharya. Sir, do you think we need to understand the old art form at first? After that, need your modification? Yeah, yeah I think obviously because while in art schools and design school, mostly uh, we, we learn history of art, right? So for that, we should acquainted with the Western as well as Indian art form, we should get acquainted with different artists, their art form, their well, stylization, and then only I think we can incorporate our style well, and we can create something new. So I think we should acquainted with the traditional along with the previous art forms, well, whether it's Indian or Western, both. That's why it's, I think the syllabus here, yeah, it's mandatory in, in every art school and design school. The history of art is a mandatory subject. So first of all, you should be well acquainted with the history of art. And then, well, you can well come up with new innovation or intervention. Good. Thank you. Thank you uh, for your uh, answer. And uh, thank you, participants, for raising your questions. And uh, thank you, Vikram, on behalf of Department of Applied Art, Faculty of Visual Art, Banaras Hindu University, Michigan State University, USA, and Maryland Institute College of Art, Department of Social Design, Maryland, Baltimore, USA, in this Fundamental of Social Design part-time certificate course. Now, uh, we will meet uh, again on Sunday uh, with uh, Vikram, sir. And tomorrow, your lecture at 5 o'clock uh, from Dr. Ajanta Singh, ma'am. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for Thank your you. participation. Thank you.